What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a hobby news for the Digimon TCG. We have just learned that wave two of the Digimon card game regional championships for 2024 has been announced. So the pricing will be changing a little bit. Uh, so we will talk, go into this, talk a little bit of this, be a short video. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for the notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Uh, so yeah, wave two. So if you were in wave one, uh, hoping to get those participation cards, get play sets, uh, there was only three online regionals available. Otherwise, you'd have to go to a in-person one. Uh, so if you can make all four, uh, all three online and then in person, you could then definitely get a play set. But anyone who can only do the online, you're going to have to be looking to pick up uh, another pack, uh, one of the participation packs. Uh, I would definitely say wait till the last event because that's when the most copies are going to be out there. So the prices are going to be the best. But other than that, you know, uh, we'll get into what wave two. So this is going to be from June to August. Uh, right now we only have one online tournament on June 1st. Uh, play TCG and Top Cut's doing an in-person one on June 15th. So we'll probably hopefully see another event in July or August, maybe two if we're lucky. Uh, and then that way too, you, again, you probably get at least three out of the four uh, participation packs. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, so yeah, I got some stuff in the other ones only one event so far not too many we haven't got any new ultimate cups i'm hoping to get more ultimate cups since it is supposed to go to august and i'm you know still wondering if they're when they say they're changing the price pricing halfway through the year if they mean the participation like if they're still doing the flame mon stuff agunimon stuff or if they're going to completely change that or if they're just going to change the event pack because that's kind of common that you'll get a new event pack kind of halfway through the year halfway eight months through the year uh so we'll have the wave two stuff which we don't know what's coming yet but we will get some information on that probably in the next little while uh we're still getting event pack six so again why wait on the event pack six cards i wouldn't pick any of that stuff up and other than that you know uh, judge pack is still the same so nothing too much is changing here other than the fact that this is going to be our first of our summer tournaments uh here in june 1st and like I said, if you go over here to the Ultimate Cup, it says February to August. And it says uh, this year's Ultimate Cup schedule starts with February to August. There will be a different set of prizes for the second half. So we'll have to see uh, when that comes. I mean, August to the end of August. So, I mean, it would just be September to like February, basically, uh, for the next stuff we'll see like i said if so far we've got uh four onlines um so I've, i did the 25th one um i wasn't able to do the may 18th so that's why i'm hoping because that way i can get my play set of flame mons without having to buy any um but other than that there's lots of events here uh i think there's only one only uh latin america has one in june nobody's got posted anyone for june yet so i don't know if we're gonna get any in june it'd be nice to get one in late june it'd be cool um and then of course you got all same thing vent packs the agunimon stuff um i'm really hoping i can you know win i would love to get some burning gray mons uh top 64 so hopefully i can do a little bit better uh, and then if i get the agunimons too because i get these then that'd be great too Aldemon would be cool to get to, but he's not necessary because you don't play this Aldemon. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm not even going to hope to get these. These are gonna, are super expensive, and I would probably just sell them uh, because if I did manage to get top eight, top eight, uh, I think it's top eight. Yeah, top eight. Then I would uh, <sighs> would probably just make want to make some money back. Because I wouldn't be able to do it like four times in a row. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's really cool. And then of course, like I said, the event pack staying the same. So these are the cards we're going to get. Uh, so they will go down. So just wait. I know I'd pulled a Dark Knight and a Lalamon. So that's cool. Hoping to pull some Omekas. Belfamon's really popular right now. Really expensive. So if you have those, you probably want to sell them. Uh, they will eventually go down. Because the Belfamon's not doing much right now. But yeah, that's the update, guys. That's the regionals and the ultimate cup. 
So hopefully we'll be going to those events. Uh, March 31st is the sign up for the regionals on June 1st. So remember to mark your calendars because uh, they sell fast sometimes and then there's no spots left. But tell me what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the Digimon uh, tournament season? Are you excited for the summer events? Wave 2, what do you think? What cards do you think they're going to be in there? Are they going to be similar to the cards we got last time? Different evolutions and stuff like that? Or do you think we're going to get completely different cards? Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Look, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.